What's going on everybody? Dark Hour 717 here and today we are going to take another look at Lyria and mining Quantanium. Now I've given Lyria plenty of chances in the past and have struck out most every time and not my favorite place to go. But we were out here with the org the other night and we stumbled across a few things that made me decide to give it another shot. So before we get started, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Also follow on Twitch and stick around till the end of the video and see how to get your entries in for our June giveaway, which is going to be the RSI Scorpius with the Stinger paint and a couple of sets of Aslan armor and also some other rewards we've got posted at the end. So coming out here to Lyria, we actually stumbled upon Shubin Processing Center SPAL-12. Now, this is a little difficult to find on the map because the text gets cut off, but once you actually find it, you can actually come here and, in most cases, drop right out of Quantum, come down to the surface, and you're already finding rocks. We came out here and I actually started finding a couple rocks that I've already got cooking over in the refinery, so I decided to start recording so I can make a video on this to get some more rocks going. So here I've just came in on SPAL 12 and just came right out of the atmosphere, VTOL down and already finding deposits of different ores. And as you can see, we'll go over here and we'll check these all out. And there's definitely a wide mix and array of different sizes and masses and quantities. Now, what I did find is that there's plenty of rocks that are over 5,000 mass. As you can see here, this is one quantanium at 11%, just over 5,000 mass. And we have a second one here at 3,000, which is at 23%. So I decided to go ahead and break these ones down. And basically with those larger mass rocks you can actually do different loadouts with different modules usually i run with a riger 3 and then a surge as well as a brant but what i found out coming here is i'm actually much better off for these larger rocks running the focus 3 the torrent 3 and the surge and that helps me get through these larger rocks and in the cases that I get a 3000 mass, I can usually just break that with just surge. So we're going to go ahead and break this down and speed this along for you. And that focus 3 and torrent 3 actually does make quick work of the larger mass rocks. And again, you can do either or, break it all down then collect it. or collect it as you go. It's all going to be determined by your skill level as well as what you're most comfortable with. And I find that when it's nighttime, it's easier to mine on Lyria because you don't have the bright white background getting in the way of your mining gauge or of your scans. And usually I'll turn the headlight off so that I can see the outline of the rocks makes it a little bit easier for me. And we're going to break down the second rock here. And just going through trying to find the biggest deposits that are in each secondary rock. Now if you find that you're in your prospector and you're getting a bit of drifting, you can always hit that right shift key to keep your pitch and yaw locked in. And that will help cut down on any drift that you're going to get while you're mining. Once 
One important thing when you're in your prospector, also make sure you have your VTOL engaged while you're doing this. Makes staying stationary a lot easier. So we're gonna finish up collecting what I can get here and we're gonna head over to Arc L1. Now out here in Arc Corp in Lyria, Arc L1 is your closest refinery. Now I'm running an Atlas Quantum Drive in my prospector and typically the transit time is gonna be right around seven, seven and a half minutes. And that will give you plenty of time to get out there. And of course I always do my suicide trick here to get my ship auto stored as soon as I land I'll get out of the seat suicide and now we're in the refinery and this one we've got 88,000 in raw material so we're gonna get that into the refinery here and get that going with our other two rocks that we got So we'll select our ship here, begin our work order, select just the quantanium because we just want that, there's not enough of anything else, and make sure you select that dink solvination. With dink solvination, it typically is going to double the raw value. Now you'll have to wait a little extra time, but it's definitely well worth it. Of course, you always have that option. If you need the AUEC immediately, you can always take that raw price that gives you. All right, so we're back here out of SPAL, just coming out of the atmosphere. And again, just stumbling upon rocks already and plenty of deposits around. So we're just going to check these ones out. And we've got couple of different places here and we come across this one here that's uh, just under 3,000 mass at 28% and we got a 2300 mass at 48% now believe it or not those are actually really good you can fill your prospector off of that again lower mass but higher quantity so definitely not something I would pass up on so we're going to speed this one up uh, again and we're going to mine these things out and get our ore. And again, I'm still running the focus and the surge and the torrent here. But with these smaller mass rocks, you really don't have to use the surge at all. Get our second rock here. You definitely went love when you can see those 100% quantanium breaks. It means your second break is going to be nothing but quantanium there. And start collecting all of this. And we're going to finish off the first rock we broke down. And we're going to head on out that we're full. And on this one, we've actually got... 138,000 AUEC on that one which is an awesome trip. We're gonna get that into the refinery here. Do our dinks. And get that one going. So that gives me four rocks in the refinery now. And we're gonna head back out and go for another one. Now this one took me a little bit more searching because I came in from the other direction, but again I found these deposits 
within about 10 minutes and I actually tried to break down an 8,000 mass rock that was 30% guantanium. Unfortunately, I got distracted by the dogs and well, I blew it up. Fortunately, I survived and these were very close by and these are right on the hills around SPAL 12. All of this is all right around that SPAL 12. Now, the one thing to remember about SPAL 12 is it is a security zone. If you get too close, you will get a trespassing warning and could possibly get a crime stat. So watch your distance. And here we go. This is a nice, just over 4,000 mass rock with a 38% quantanium com composition. And we're gonna go ahead and break this one down. Again, love seeing the 100% quantanium breaks. Now on this one, because I 30 k at one point and I lost some of my modules, I did go with my usual setup of the Surge as well as the Riger and the Brant. And it did perfectly fine breaking down this 4,000 mass rock. Keep breaking these 100% down and grab those as I can. And we'll top off and head on back. And here we got about 139,000, so awesome trip. We'll get that into the refinery. And as you can see, SPAL-12 out on Leary is actually an excellent place. I usually do asteroid mining because I like, you know, the search through the gas clouds, the scenery. It's gorgeous, but definitely if you want to go strictly for profit, checking out Lyria at SPAL-12 is definitely a must because you are just going to find plenty there for yourself. Overall, we've got five refinery jobs going on here at Arc L1. Now, we're not going to get the 3% increase that CRU L1 usually gives us, but overall, that's going to be probably less than $10,000 in overall profit. But as far as the raw total, we're probably just over 500,000 total raw. And once we refine it using Dink Solvination, that should at least double our profits. And that should put us just over the million mark on those five rocks. So finally, I've been able to hit a decent spot out on Lyria. And I can say this was definitely a success. I would highly recommend it. And what I've been doing is going down and quantuming into the Shubin Mining Processing Center, SPAL-12. And the majority of these rocks I found in under five minutes. A uh, number of them, at least three, I just dropped right down out of atmosphere when my quantum ended and they were right below me. So the trick is to search that flatland right just around the bases of the hills and even up onto the hills themselves and you'll find quantanium here no problem the trick is to either find those low mass with high value or high percentage or find the high mass with a lower percentage can still fill your prospector not a problem some other things that you're going to need to take into consideration is if you want to equip yourself for those high mass rocks you want to make sure that you're using something like i did with the Focus 3 as well as the Torrent 3 and then throw your Surge on there and that seems to have done the job for me. And then of course our usual loadout using the Riger, the Surge and the Brant for the 5000 mass and below. And that will get you through no problem whatsoever. So hopefully you found this useful. I'm happy I finally made some money on Lyria. 
I definitely recommend checking it out. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Also follow on Twitch and don't forget to get your entries in for June's giveaway, the RSI Scorpius with the Stinger Paint and LTI, as well as a couple of sets of Aslan armor. We'll be giving that away on July 1st. Just subscribe, leave a comment on any video on YouTube or follow on Twitch and you'll get two entries if you do both or one for each. And our current subscribers and followers all know what to do. And don't forget, if you're wanting to help support the channel, check out the Patreon as well as the Members tab on YouTube. And we have a lot of great reward packages there. And don't forget, we have our merch store as well. We got some new items on there. And through the end of July, we're giving 20% off all orders. Just use the discount code that is DHSTREAM20. DHSTREAM20. And that will give you 20% off anything from the merch store. And... Anything that comes in through that, the Patreon or the Members tab, all goes right back into our giveaways so we can give back to you guys. We greatly appreciate the support. And don't forget to check out our streams every Wednesday and Sunday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And until then, we will catch you later.